Atlanta United Fan TV here with Parm. 1-0 loss to FC Cincy in a pretty lackluster performance and definitely not the result we wanted at all. Uh, it seems pretty grim for MLS's back for us right now. We need it all to do, essentially, uh, against Columbus. What are your thoughts about the match, Parm? Hey, well, you know, I think just like everybody else, uh, a little disappointed. Well, probably a lot of disappointed, most people. Um, it just, you know, there wasn't really a game plan. Um, there was no fluidity to the game. A lot of possession with no purpose. Um, just just trying to figure out what direction we were trying to head in during that second game. You know, when I saw the lineup, I was a little bit encouraged at first because I figured that was the first lineup we would go with. You know, have some control in the middle between Lorenowitz and Rometty, have a true striker in Adam Jean, despite him having to replace the greatest striker in MLS history in Joseph Martinez. But overall, the game plan did just did not work. And, you know, the way we played, we let Cincinnati into that game. You know, that red card was horrendous. It did not do us any justice at all. But, you know, I, I think even before the red card, we just really weren't that fluid. I mean, that, that's at least what I saw, you know. Yeah, I mean, very early on, uh, you know, no shots really from either side for a while. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, you know, Mulraney, uh, he gets two yellows in a span of about, what, like five minutes? And so, uh, yeah, we're down to ten men. It's very, very tough after that. I mean, you got the heat against you. You have maybe just, you know, on top of that, a lack of continuity between the players uh, as teammates. Not a lot of competitive minutes together. Um, yeah, what, what would you put this down to in terms of, um, you know, why we look the way we did today? I mean, is it system? Is it uh, the players we have? Is it a lack of some players that we uh, don't currently have? What do you think? You know, it's, it's hard to say. You, you can always come up with arguments about formations, tactics, um, who you play where. But I think it just comes down to fluidity and just more time. I mean, unfortunately, we've had the same amount of time as a lot of other teams in the MLS to prepare for something like this. You know, I, I, I never like to um, pick a player or pick one particular player as the reason we're not playing well. Because in football, it's a little bit different than that. You know, you can't – it's not like re American football where if you lose a quarterback, that's a significant part of your offense. But, man, losing Joseph Martinez seems to have had a big, big effect on us. You know, we con constantly cross the ball. We constantly try to get the ball to the middle. And every time, you know, we cross the ball, we attack the middle. I just sit there and wonder who we're going to because, you know, Brooks Lennon, Barco, Pity, they're not the strongest in the air. It's not their fault. Uh, they're, you know, the taller, more physical center backs are better than them. You know, they, they try, but we don't have that target man right now. And I, again, I don't want to say that. This all comes down to one player because that's not how football works. It's not. It's just not that simple. But man, there's a gap in that you know middle area of the field, the middle of the area of the attacking uh, third. I, I apologize, and I, I just don't know how we're uh, trying to adjust to this situation. Um, you know, Adam Jean. I thought again when I first saw him play, I was like, okay, cool. Now we got a target man we can go to. But then they subbed him once we got the two red cards, which again was devastating. Two red cards and five minutes six minutes by like the 26 minute of the match that's just down to a lack of discipline you have to concentrate especially in these tournaments where everything's a one-off so you know system fluidity just an overall like when i watch them play i mean I, I don't see a game plan i don't see the i don't see what we're trying to accomplish and again again i don't want to put this down to one player but you know not having joseph martinez or you know that killer that poacher in the box seems to have really hurt us yeah, I mean, and definitely Joseph is the heart and soul of the team. That's apparent. I mean, he's a guy that's kind of the, the spiritual leader of the team in a, in a sense where uh, on the pitch you can see just the, the passion, the uh, you know, him willing the team to, to victories at times. And so, yeah, absolutely. It's always a big miss when you have, as you said, uh, the best striker in MLS history missing from your, your squad. Uh, now, though, there's still you know, tens of millions of other uh, talent on the pitch. And so, you know, is it uh, really where, you know, can we maybe say that, yeah, it's maybe system, it's maybe uh, also coach that hasn't exactly gotten the best out of these players? Because, uh, yeah, I mean, we definitely have definitely more talent than Cincy. We 
uh, arguably, you know, can attack better than New York Red Bulls. Uh, so for us to be down uh, with zero points in after two games, I mean, it's definitely what a, a little bit, uh, not only head scratching but maddening. No, and I mean, not no disrespect to Cincy, no disrespect to New York. You know, we have a history with both of these teams, especially New York, but I don't consider them better teams than us. When you look at player for player on the field, I think we do a much better job than them. Again, no disrespect to them, all credit to them, they beat us. So it's, you know, mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going on. You know, maybe, you know, we're just not able to get the best out of certain players right now. I mean, this has had an effect on everybody, you know, having to go play in Orlando in the middle of the heat. I mean, it's difficult. But, I mean, these are professional players. You know, this is a professional coach. Something's not clicking. Um, what has to change? I don't exactly know. Again, I'm just a fan. You know, the, the tactical nuances that, you know, go into everything are always tricky. You know, it's hard. You know, I'm, I'm curious to see what they're going to do. I mean, essentially, we're out of this tournament now. We have to probably win like 6 7 nothing in the next game to even stand a chance of qualifying in the third place. You know, very, very old school format like the 1950s, 60s, 70s World Cups and European Championships. You know, I don't know if it's just miscommunication on the field. I don't, you know, it just, it seems that like while we're in control, we're never dangerous. That's the thing that concerns me is like, we're in control, but we have nothing to show for it. We're not dangerous because of it. You know, I was happy to see Barco start today. Barco and Pity work their tails off. They, they really do. It, but it, it just seems like without... It seems like we're just missing that one piece. Again, mm -hmm. we've lost Joseph. That's terrible. But so, something's obviously missing. The fluidity, you know, we have the control, but we're just not dangerous with it. And mm -hmm. that's a little concerning going forward. And, you know, we're going to be relying on these boys a lot again this season. So we'll see what happens, you know. I'm curious to see how we'll adjust. I really am. I really am curious to see how we'll adjust. Yeah. Well, Parm, I appreciate the time. We'll uh, chat with you at another time. Thanks, man. Hey, man. Appreciate you guys. Always love Atlanta United, no matter what. Indeed. Indeed. Vamos, ATL.